Hello everybody, then it is here in this tutorial. You are going to learn how to create an avatar like this one. Avatars are great for those who may be shy to appear on camera or they want to make some very interactive character with someone who watched them, for example, for gameplay. They have numerous usage. You can create a story. You can create many contents without having a cool background because all you need is a camera, webcam, for example, and yourself. Then the character will follow your face movements. And here are some of the characters I made and just the intro of each video you can see how cool they just make your video results now check this out hello this is your friend god's Sp hello this is your friend god's speedrun hello everybody this is your friend god's speedrun this is speedrun and this will be the best tutorial. hello everybody Speedrun here and one more amazing tutorial. Speedrun here and in this tutorial you Speedrun is back. Hello everybody, this is your friend Speedrun bringing up ladies and gentlemen. Speedrun here, I'm starting a new series. Hello everybody, Speedrun here again bringing another new. Hello everybody, Speedrun here and today I'm going now to move to the computer. And we are going to set up everything that we need in order to create our avatar. All right, everybody, we are here now in the computer. You will need to access three websites, vroid.com, and all these three website links are in the description. So access that, and you will pick your Windows or Mac. My one is Windows. I download using this option right here. Next, you're going to VC face and the website in the description. You go ahead and click in download and download this version right here. And the last one, if you want to customize your character with something that's not available on the Vroid Studio, then you can use Unity to insert those accessories into your character. So you go ahead to unit and download it. Once your download is completed, you have these two files plus the unit file right here. You need to install all of them. So let's start with Vroid Studio. So you go ahead and Vroid Studio and then click next. And then it's already installed, so I'm not gonna do that. And once that this is installed, you will have this icon in your desktop. Perfect. Next is the VC face. And this basically, you just need to extract the whole folder. You don't actually need to install it. Now I can close the zip file and when I click VC face, this is the folder that will open and you can click on vcface.exe. There will be displaying this screen for you. It takes a little time to load. And this is where you emulate your character to see um, to see your avatar while you are using the webcam. Now we step by step start with Vroid Studio first, and let's create our character. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and open our Vroid Studio. Right here is where we are going to customize the character. You can click on create new. There is fem feminine and masculine. I will choose the masculine. And now it's loading. 
Nice. So our character will show up here in the center. And now we have a few panels. We have the left panel with the face set, eyes, all everything that you need to modify the face. Also, like you want to scroll in the character, you can scroll the wheel, mouse wheel, middle mouse wheel button, and you can scroll in and out like that. Then you can hold shift and left click to drag up and down. Or you can just click left click, I mean right click, and you can spin the character. Okay. Now we can zoom into the face and start to modify the, a little bit of this character. All right, so I can see in the profile or 45 here. And we can always make sure how it's looking. Let's start on the face set. On the face set, you can choose a little bit of how the face will be like. This is very feminine face. This is a little bit more masculine. And you will look for something that you like. These two Japanese character. Let me see. Alright, so I think I start modifying by this character right here. Now, there's a few things to concern here. Parameters where you can change. So you can, I was in here on the, his face and then you can see what happens. Okay. So you can go here and change one by one and see how do you like. So I like this, all right. Now the mouth. So they separate here, vampire teeth. Uh, here, vampire tooth. So you can go down here, expression. Expression editor. And then put a happy face. So you can see the teeth. Now I return to the face set. And there is... Let's find the vampire tooth again here vampire tooth so I can either left and right or you can uh, choose the upper one here which is both okay so this is for the skin if you realize but I won't change for the tooth so here saying leap Let's find here vampire teeth. This is what I was looking for. So you can do the same thing for the lower or the upper, like that. So I'll keep something like this. I think this is cool. Now you can go ahead and modify what you want. I want to return the expression to neutral. Neutral and then I'm quite happy with the results of this face already. Now I'm going to the eye set. And here you can change if you like. You can put something more dreamy like this. Which is cool. This is so dark. This is quite nice. It's like a cat eye so I can stretch the side of my eyes a bit and change the position okay i like this <clears throat> now i want to go to the irises and here change the color so first i'm going to change both eyes color to something like close to green now i'm going to the left eyes and I'm going to change a little bit more the color. So it has a little contrast between each. I think that's pretty cool. Now I can also add it here. I want to leave as default. So I need to manually bring this to zero. Okay. I heights. And this. Okay, this is uh, here in the center. Where is white, we can change this. 
to something else and on a very dark green color here just like that now i can go to <clears throat> we can go to this i don't even know how to pronounce this word but there we are and then you can uh edit the texture so if for example i want to create something else than what you see here you can add a texture then you will get this you can either paint here direct and i found that to be extremely difficult so what i do is to right click and then export this texture add it on photoshop okay you have the idea what's around here and then you can get a totally different eyes or you can really just go ahead so let me move up here you can just go ahead and paint directly on the here texture or in the eyes which you found to be really cool interactive now i can close this and i can click close without saving because we haven't modified at all and now we can proceed all right now i'm going to <clears throat> change the eye eyebrows here something like that i like and then the color of the eyebrows she wants a little bit like a light color like this kind of blown and i'm going to the eyelid you can change the eyelid color here if you like i'll keep like this eyeliner which i don't need to use that you can add the eyelashes and i'm going to change the eyelashes to a similar color as we see here cool maybe i can try this this is a little bit cooler nice so now we are almost done with the face i need to change the hairstyle but that's on a separate menu panel up here nose you can you can change the nose size the, the thickness everything here i'll keep it as it is then there is the mouth mouth width so i I found this to be so nonsense, right? So I'm going to decrease the size a bit. Do you want the mouth lips? You can add a little bit here. So mouth lips. That's cool. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Now we are going to mouth inside. And to do that, I will need to change the expression to happy. Let's see what the, that does. Okay. So I'm going to control Z. Okay. Okay, I'll leave like this. Actually, nothing really changed as far as I can see, except the color there. And face paint, you can add a little bit. Um, you know, here, I'm not sure what the name of this makeup, but you can add something that looks like a Naruto. You can add the texture, you can draw your own. Okay, so you can add something like this, which is cool. You can create a cartoon with it. And I am going to probably just keep like this. Okay, now I'm going to hairstyle and change the hair a bit. So there is quite limited hairs for main characters let's see i'll begin with this hair now i'm going to change to like blonde color kind of 
Good. Now I'm going to click here just to show you guys that you can actually change a little bit of the hair in the sides, just like this. This is the front front part of the hair. So what is the shortest hair here? Let's see. All right, so basically this is the shortest hair here. I'm just showing you what is possible. You can actually add the back hair as well. So this back hair goes very well with the front hair. And I believe I use this in one of my characters. So you can see that it looks cool as well. I could keep like this is quite nice. This is cool too. Yeah, so it can be very creative. I'm going to keep, let me see. Probably this, I like this one. Now I'm going to uh, change to outfit. And you can see that there are more options. So you can go to the side and add something like this. if you like and I think this is quite cool I'll keep it like this actually and now I'm going to show you that the body is where you can change the height so you go for example me masculine height and then I can change to the height I want okay. all right so now I can go to outfit and pick any outfit I want. And I'll show you that you can also customize. So you start with a basic. And I'm going to pick this one. So it's quite cool already by default. Like a ice cream cone shape. And this is so cool design. I can go ahead and modify this. So I can go to the top and then there will be added texture so I can either go costume and then uh, custom and change here something that I saved before or I can go presets and then I can click edit texture then I'm going to export this and I can modify in Photoshop for example in this case I want to leave as it is or actually, I could. I, I gotta show you something really cool, real quick. So, I gonna export this. So, export to my desktop. And I'm going to modify this for you guys. All right? So, you can do the same for the bottom if you want. But since all my videos only use the top part, I am just going to do it for the top end. I go ahead and launch my Photoshop. Once the Photoshop is opened, you can drag the layer and and then open up Photoshop. Now I can go ahead, change the color of this without affecting the cone color. To do that, I'm going to go image. Let's see. So I need to click on the layer first. Make sure I'm on the layer so I can get these modes. Adjustment and selective color. Or I can say replace color. Let's try replace color. Here I can pick. I can pick the color plus this. And this is the color and I can change the results to something else like that so I can do that or I can go to image adjustments uh, let me see selective selective color and then I can go to uh, this scenes and change to a different type of blue here I want the green so I'll keep to the green 
and there we are now i have changed the all the colors just uh super easily on photoshop without messing up the the chocolate and without messing up the cone area right here i right click on the texture back here in vroid studio and import texture now i can import the texture i have changed and you can see that it has applied if you want to write something you can write on photoshop here and that's gonna show you um, on the character when you upload the image it's very easy to use as you can see now our character is nearly done you can go ahead and change socks shoes whatever you like once you're done i can cl click close here and i'll save as new item cool. to make sure our character is safe let's go ahead file save as and here we give a name i have named it my chart tutorial and now i'm going to add in this folder right here i click save and we have saved this character so if we go to the main uh, if you open a vroid studio again you can see the character here on the top left this is looking really cool i'm going to accessory now and add accessory there is uh, glasses so you can either preview here with glasses i do not want a uh, glass so i'm going to remove that here i can get uh add a cat ears or rabbit ears i'm going to add rabbit ears i think it looks cool now i'm going to just make a few adjustments here this is nice looking good you can play around here so here's the shading uh let's start with the outline you can see that create more like a japanese um, art here it looks like an anime i will add a little bit of this i think it looks cool now have the outline on the face have the outline on the body it looks cool like that on the accessory so everything have a little outline i think this looks really awesome rim light you can change the intensity of the light like this so i like like that i'll just leave as default go ahead save once again once you're done with this editing you can export the character and then we're going we are going to import this character with another app that will actually simulate our face expression with the avatar expression now i go up here on the top and we can export it export as vrm take a little time to load everything they're packing the character they're packing the textures they're checking the polygons materials bones and everything is embedded in your 3d model now go to export it must be vrm 0.0 the VRM 1.0 will not be able to load on that application. So keep it like this. And then you can give a title if you want. I'm going to title this Speed Run uh, ice, ice Cream. The outfit does look like an ice cream cone. Now I'm going to add the creator. And... You can add whatever you want. That's the only two required uh, fields right there. I'm going to click export. And we have got the character. So when it's finished processing, it can take 
depending on your machine, like a few minutes or just a few seconds, like you saw here. Now the name it looks good. The location where I'm saving this also look, looks correct. And perfect. We have the character done. I want to show you one last thing on Vroid Studio. Right before we start to emulate the character into the other app. Oh, have a camera here, which is a way to preview your character doing some sort of scene. You can change the background. So you can go here in background. You can import a background picture so you can create an animation here. And there are default animations. All right, so there's a lot of animations actually. You can see my character dancing. You can see like a different pose, the different standby pose, then have jumping. You can zoom in a bit. Like tired, damaged, which is so cool. All right, so this is nice for animation and you can change the background, just the color as well. So you can add a nice chroma key like that. And this is just so awesome from this application. It's a new feature, I believe. Now I close here and we are going to the next step where we are going to emulate this amazing character and be able to create nice videos. Now it's time to emulate our character in VC face. And this is the software we have installed at the start of this video. You can go ahead and load this software right here. We'll take a little moment to load. We are going to make sure all the parameters here are correct. So camera 2.0 is uh, my webcam. Camera settings, I just put camera default. Camera frame rate 24 frames per second. Tracking quality, I put to high quality. Microphone, I didn't choose since we are going to use OBS to check on the mic. Now I'm going to just select our avatar here. Select speedrun ice cream is the avatar we just made. And now I'm going to double click on it or click and click start. So it's going to emulate our avatar. Just like now you can see me speaking. There is an error and this is the result of I'm having my webcam turn on and the the webcam is showing my real video and there is no such way to show the avatar and me so i'm going to actually use another way to show you this just a moment all right guys so basically i was using the webcam to emulate my video in the side here plus the avatar and that gave me a, an error now I'm going to emulate only the avatar and not my webcam together. So now that it is emulating, you can see the light turns on. And when I turn my face, it moves with me. So I turn to the right, it's turning to the right, to the left. You can see it's following my face movements. When I blink, you can see that the character blinks. I look up, I look down, and that's how it works. So you, now I'm going to return to the computer here to explain a few more settings before we actually add a costume 3D on accessory on our character. And this is looking so good right now. Look. And there is a way to remove background, which I'm going to explain in a moment as well. So I'll see you on the next part of this video. All right, guys. So this is OBS. Let's set up and create a new scene here. 
disk I will call avatar tutorial. Now we are going to emulate the character. So I click on the plus sign and game capture. And I'm going to name this game capture tree to avatar avatar ice cream nice now i'm going to select a, a specific windows and this window going to be vc face as you can see already there now there is let's see there is a way to allow transparency which is this you check click on the checkbox and now we have our character with a transparent background so if i add right here a image i'll add the image here we go so just image add and then now i'm going to browse a image so now i found this image right here and i add in the backgrounds my avatar is in on the la lower layer i can drag my avatar to the upper layer and now you can see that it's in the background so i can also add the desktop so i can display capture at this one and right here is going to show what I'm looking right now, which is going to give me this because as you can see, it's on the main window, right? So you can add this below, you can off the image and you can see that my character is right here showing the window. That's why I have two screens actually. I'll keep one. I'll keep this OBS on the second screen and while i am doing things on the first main screen in this case i will delete uh, just hide this display capture and only show the image capture like this you pretend that this background is our desktop now there is a little icon right here which is from our vc face vc face has this little icon right here as you can see and i don't want to show that here so what i can do is to actually select the avatar ice cream and hold out and drag this as you can see okay and now i can put my character right here and that's pretty pretty awesome actually this character is gonna definitely be used on a tutorial because i really enjoy this one now you can see the the ears are actually touching the top there as you can see here so you can actually click let me see if you click out and left click you're going to move him like this if you click out and right click you're actually going to move zoom in zoom out now let me uh, yeah so control and left click you're actually going to move the shadow which now is a bit messed up okay so yeah you basically need to move him here zoom in zoom out a little bit i'm sure oh yeah so control and right click is actually going to move him up and down you can also make full screen which will give you a higher quality here, as you can see. And then you can either minimize from here and you can find the best settings for your use. Okay, as you can see now, uh, let me see if I can add one more avatar here. So let's me add it, add game capture, add, um, so where is it okay, let me see game capture capture a specific windows and then one more time i'll try to select the vc 
and that does not work. I guess I can only pick once at a time. So I'm going to delete this. Double click here and now I'll just show you like this. So you can see that um, this is pretty cool that you can remove the background by OBS. Now I am going to show you in the app here how to set up a few things. For example, you want to reset position. If I'm turning this way and I click reset position, it to, and now I turn front to the camera, it's going to look weird. So you can use this reset position to make sure when you're looking to the camera, this is the correct angle. Now I have here mirror motion. So sometimes I have uh, people have two screens. And for example, I'm looking now to my right screen. And I think this looks good to me, but maybe your screen is on the other side and then you want to mirror motion. So depends how you're recording, where your character is positioned, you can use this mirror motion right here. Okay, now I'm looking to the left, but my character is kind of looking to the opposite direction. And that's how I decide I want it to be. Now I have the movement move, uh, is moving, and that means um, here will be a little bit more shaky, you see. So when you smooth the movement, it will just look nicer and really smooth just like it should now have the movement range and that i keep around here because otherwise maybe move too fast or too slow i would i want to keep it as it is because i set up like this now there are settings and the settings um you can the, you need to go through it and check because maybe there is something you like so leap motion setting let's have a look so you can see you can smooth something here All right. um general setting is nice here have something that's important so the blink sensitivity and then blinks moving also there is a way if you're looking down for example sometimes you're reading something and your character uh, never blinks so you can actually add so you go settings general settings and take uh, let me see here auto blink here so now it's like I'm blinking but my character is just blinking time to time by automatically without actually follow my blinking and that can be really useful sometimes. So um, here we go. You can go through this setting by your own. It's self-explanatory. Should be pretty easy. All right. So I hope you learned something in this section of the tutorial. Now we are going to create a co costume accessory for our character. We are now in the very last step of the tutorial. We go ahead and open the unit hub right here. You will see this window. You can go to the settings and make sure your license is here. If you don't have one, you can add and you go to get a free personal license. Once you have inserted, you will be able to create a new project. And that's what you're going to do right now. I need to create a location. So in desktop, I want to create a folder here called Unity. And I will add inside this folder Unity a project. Now I'm going to create the project with 3D built in render. All right, they are setting up the project for me. 
while this is opening let's go ahead and choose a accessory right here I have a website called sketchfab which is one of my favorite 3d websites probably my favorite one now i search here for crown and i have found this crown right here i think it's really cool the design to make sure you can download you need to choose downloadable or make sure you see this icon at the top once you see this icon it's free to download these are creators that they can sell 3d or they can just display a portfolio and some of them they are nice and leave us with the download option so this is the 3d i look for and i think it looks pretty awesome you can see i can change the shadow and i can also check the wireframe i love this feature this looks a very nicely done 3d i'm going to go ahead and click download is already in fbx which is perfect now i'm going to download this one more thing is needed for us to import our vrm which is our avatar is this package this vrm1 but i just need vrm0 and then i'm i go ahead and click the load once your download is done you make sure the unit project is launched it does take a little time to set up the first time they are adding all the essential files for you to create apps games whatever you need which is a c sharp mainly c sharp uh, program now i'm going to wait this initialize right here and i'll be right back our project is nicely set up now we are going to install this v uni vrm release here from this github so like this we are able to import and export vrm files which once again is the avatar once i double click and uh, or launch that file it will automatically bring the package here to unity and then you have this many options you make sure everything is select and import now you you will notice at the top here will be added a new window just for the vrm once this is done as you can see the vrm zero has shown here at the top and this is looking good on my second screen appeared this window right here and i need to click accept all perfect now we have the vrm as i mentioned we can export and import this project file you can use always to edit your avatars so once it's set up you don't need to worry anymore in installing this now i'm going to vrm and import right here i'm going to choose speedrun ice cream which is the character we have built together in the same unit folder i'm going just to save this prefab file and now you can see that our character will show up right here all right our character is here still loading there's a lot of textures and now i can drag and drop the character here in the 3d view you can see the position is not really center so you can zero out this tree parameters and now he's perfect center he will be a bit red that's because the outline gives this feeling and that's totally okay now we are going to add the accessory nice 
once I have found the 3D that I like, as you can see here, you can go ahead and download. My one is here, Fantasy Crown. I'm going to check the source and extract this. Now the textures and extract this. Perfect. So I'm going to bring everything inside the unit folder. Like this, uh, now I want to check in Maya. I'm going to use Maya for this example. You can use any software that you like, like Blender, 3ds Max. You just need to make sure that the 3D is nice and centered in the 3D view. Here we go. I have um, launched the Maya. Let's drag and drop this to our 3D software. Here we go. Let me see if the textures is already attached. It's not. So this looks pretty, pretty big. So actually this 3D model. So I'm going to scale down a bit. All right. And I'm going to add it about here. Okay. I want to make sure the pivot point is centered for both of this. All right. This I don't need. All right. So there are two objects. Now I'm going to attach the textures. So UV. Uh, UV editor. I want to just make sure the UV is nice. And right here, I'm going to attach the texture. I like the final result of this, so we can now go File, Export, Selection. And right here, I'm going to, in Desktop, find our Unit folder and add the Chrome FBX. Now we have the Chrome FBX right here, we can import to Unity. We need to drag the texture, so here we recognize. And now the 3D has the texture. Right here where it says uh, your character name, you can click in the side, which will open the root and everything that is in our character. So what I usually do, I search for hair, and then above all the hairs, you have here the head and you can see the head moves okay i need to drag this 3d under head so now we have the crown here i can just scale to this until I think it looks proper. So if I counter and out, I can drag like this. Let's make this window bigger so it's easier to preview, right? So you can use W, E, and R to, 
to scale, rotate, do what all you need. I want to make sure this looks proportional here. Almost perfect. All right. So now we go to the, we find the head again. So above all the hairs around here. Yeah. So if you rotate the heads and the accessory rotates together, this means you have done a great job. What we can do now is to return here and click on your character, VRM, export VRM. Down here is it's saying here it requires a version, so we go down and put any number you want. I'll put number one. And now we can export this to our second uh, option right here. So I'm going to find my avatar folder. Right here, I will call it the same, but I will put true at the end. So I know this is the second version of the same character. So I save this VRM and now it's exporting. Let's test in the VC face how our character is looking. And the grand final step of this tutorial is to import the character with additional accessory. Let's go to avatar selection and add our speedrun ice cream chew. Now we can select and select this avatar. As you can see, I have now the accessory on top of my head. And this is looking so cool. I could scale a little bit so you see the little hair here in the side will disappear. But this is a very nice character. You can see the shadow of the accessory on my face here as well. And this is looking so cool, guys. And this is our very final character. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. I wish you the best. Make sure to subscribe so you stay updated with this cool contents that I'm bringing here. See ya!